live, ladies and gentlemen. Friday, the 19th day of March, 2010. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday edition. Well, they're talking about even trying to pass the health care bill today or over the weekend or next week. And we're going to be talking a lot about exactly what is in the health care bill and how it's unconstitutional and illegal and discriminatory on so many fronts and the types of draconian police state measures that are in the bill. Republicans assail IRS provision in health care bill. This is a vast expanse of power, Congressman said. In the bill, it allows the IRS to take your paycheck or your refunds to make you buy health insurance. So they just take your money. This is the IRS minding you, running your life. This abusive, unaccountable collection agency for the private Federal Reserve, and that's why they're taking this money, is to fund the banks. I saw another report two days ago where they are now taking the major private pension funds with the CEOs, the government is, and having them invest that into the banking system. So that is coming up as well today. But when we come back from break, I'm going to uh, go over the different angles of the health care bill. 38 state attorney generals are saying it's illegal. In fact, I heard the Texas attorney general on KLBJ this morning talking about it, and I agree with him. I'm going to repeat some of the things he talked about. And then I've got news like this. Pentagon sees a threat from online muckrakers, New York Times. This came out uh, yesterday, saying, oh, yes, they want to shut down people exposing the government. And that dovetails with cybersecurity bill introduced in the Senate, but don't worry, there's been a major change. This is a quote from Reuters. One major change to the bill is that the president would no longer have the power to shut down the Internet unilaterally. Oh, great. But would have to work within the industry to draw up plans in the event of a national emergency. So it says the president consults with who he wants, and then he has unlimited power. So, oh, great, he can still shut it down whenever he wants. Just total tyranny. There's a CNET news article. Emergency Internet control bill gets a rewrite, but it goes on to report that it's meet the new boss same as the old boss and they admit their target is people exposing government documents 9-11 truth you name it because we are killing them politically we are annihilating them and to go ahead and try to start curtailing and shutting down the web it's too late crooks genie's out of the bottle cat's out of the bag horse already left the barn train already left the station Humpty Dumpty already fell off the wall, and all the king's horses and all the king's men and all the king's media and brainwashing and propaganda and Homeland Security and MIAC reports and Southern Poverty Law Center and ADL can't put your stinking tyranny back together again. It is the beginning of the end for you, you murdering bastards. Excuse me. I apologize. I'm going to control myself. I'm very upset about the health care situation. That dovetails, though, with this. Bill automatically allows power company to regulate your home temperature. That's what they did in California. Texas is doing it. Utah's got a bill to do it. Every state in the union, they're going to decide how hot and how cold your house is. You want to be a prisoner? You want to live in a giant prison? In a prison, the warden controls the temp. Well, you a prisoner. And then Aaron Dykes, Rob Dew, wants to interview Lord Moncton in D.C. Had an unbelievable run-in with TSA. I'm going to get Dykes in here to talk about it later just this is getting really scary folks I'm wait till you hear what happened to dykes it just goes to every point we've been making we're going to break down a lot of key info coming up right here on the one the only gcn radio network i'm alex shows with infowars.com spending bills must originate in the House of Representatives. That's the Constitution. That's law. If not, you have a tyranny. But the bill they're voting on is a Senate version without a full review and vote in the House. And so they're just going around to Democrats saying, do you agree to the changes without an official vote? 
So none of them politically have to go on the line for this. But there's another big issue here, and that's why 38 and growing, told us 39, but this morning it's 38 attorney generals. I heard Abbott on News Radio 590 this morning, the Texas attorney general, and he was explaining it in crystal clear terms that if the government can force you to buy something via the Commerce Clause, which they've never before done, you are a slave. And they can make you go out and buy an electric car uh, to, quote, prop up General Motors. They can just unilaterally seize your bank accounts. Uh, they can do whatever they want. And, you know, Rush Limbaugh yesterday said this was treason, that this was a, quote, overthrow of the U.S. Constitution. I have the quotes here that this was a rebellion against America, this was illegal, that these people are criminals and should be arrested. I've never heard Limbaugh talk like this. But Limbaugh, where were you with the Patriot Act, which they now admit is used in non-terror related cases against the American people? Where were you on torture? Where were you on our own military having the Patriot Act used against them? Where were you during the warrantless wiretapping? See, you can't just violate one part of the Constitution and Bill of Rights when you like it and then get mad when somebody else does it. And that's my main issue. That's the whole point of this radio show. We have a lawless, criminal corporate group that has bought off most of the state-level politicians and almost all of the feds. Those that they can't buy off die in mysterious plane accidents or their sexual uh, transgressions with hookers or whatever are brought out. The system destroys anyone at the highest level. So people say, well, I might as well just get bought off then. And I've got news reports where the majority of federal employees aren't even paying their taxes or all of their taxes, and, and they're not enforced against. And that dovetails with all over the country, software, license plate reading cameras, the police and bureaucrats, federal and state, are exempt. Over a million license plates are exempt. The scanners cannot even read them. There's a default block in California. It, it, it was over a million two years ago. I don't know what it is now. It's always growing. And if a bureaucrat doesn't like you, they just put you in a database and you can't have a job, you can't fly, you can't do anything. And that's in this bill. You don't get insurance, no job. The IRS takes your paycheck, takes your tax refund. Because the news is reporting, oh, they can take your tax refund and keep it. But I read the bill. It actually says they can do whatever they want. No judge, no jury. They just grab your account. And that dovetails with Aaron Dyke and Rob Doob. Uh On the East Coast, they went to interview Lord Moncton for an upcoming film. The next fall, The Republic. And uh, the TSA came over to them and said, what are you doing with these cameras? And got in their face and said, um, I can make sure you never get to travel again, never get to fly, nothing. And was just on an incredible power trip. That's Nazi Germany. Well, first they said certain groups and couldn't. They always pick an unpopular minority to test it out on. Muslims, cave dwellers, supposedly, from Afghanistan. But the real targeting is against the general public. In Nazi Germany, it was communist Jews, Seventh-day Adventists. First, you couldn't have your business. Then you had to uh, move out of your home for your safety. You weren't allowed to work. You weren't allowed to travel. You had to have a special identification marking you as that. And that's exactly what this is now. This TSA people just walked up and said, look, buddy, you'll never travel again. And started laughing. But Aaron really stood up to him. Started rolling the camera when the guy did this. So to put together a YouTube video of that, and Aaron has a lot of courage. You know, I, I don't even tell him when they're flying to stand up against these people. I tell him, you know, it's your own personal decision. But he stood up against the IRS commissioner in Geithner and got that go-to-hell look. Then they sick their goons on him afterwards to just go to a press conference and ask him a question about the $23 trillion. Aaron used the old seven-month-old number from Bloomberg of $23.7 trillion. It was, it was over $28 trillion three months ago. Um these are thugs. I mean, this is what it's like to be a slave. We're now learning this. And it looks like they're going to get the bill through. 
They're going to have the Democrats not vote on the bill itself, but dissenting votes change their vote and deem, never before done on a spending bill, deeming can be done for, oh, yeah, I support that October is end family violence month. Or, yes, I'll vote with you that uh, you know, November is Iowa corn month. I mean, they, I mean, they literally have that. If it's a non-binding resolution, that's just a sense of the House, a sense of the Senate. I mean, this is truly illegal. And even McCafferty on CNN said, you know, that it borders on unconstitutional. And many law scholars are saying illegal. No, it's all illegal.